Yeah, what's happening, my people? So, here we go. Power Book 2, Episode 6. And I could stand corrected, but I think the name of this episode is Good vs. Evil. And we had our mid-season finale. It has came back around. I don't know why they did a mid-season finale and stuff. They should have just kept the show rolling. But they did it to stretch it out. And during the during the finale, it the season the mid season finale looked like man things were starting to get heated up. It was a little looked like Tariq was gonna take the fall, man. Like Tariq got caught on camera making the confession at his father's uh uh headstone and stuff in the cemetery. He's I had to do it and stuff. He was all tore up and stuff. Maybe they can they can. Maybe when they when they go back, uh, and if they try to use that against them, it can be because I was drugged. He does find out that he was drugged in this episode because he was talking to Sack's niece. And she was like, I'm sorry that I drugged you. So he knows that he was drugged. So that can come into play with his defense, possibly. I don't know. But... In other other means of the show, other things going on, Mary J. Blige kind of warmed up to Tariq. She kind of like really put some uh put some faith into him to run start running the organization and let him do his thing. She had took Kane's gun and they, they gave it to him and stuff in the in the mid season finale, so a little bit more trust that way. But let's get into this episode and what's happening now in the sex in Method Man. Davis, Davis, Saxon Davis, they are plotting. They are plotting to, to do this case. Each of them gonna get a win. I win, you win. Uh what's gonna happen? You're gonna get your killer. I'm gonna free my client. It's gonna be a win for both of us. The L is gonna be Tariq. So his life is gonna be ruined. He is the killer. They find this out. So he gotta take the fall for everybody else to win. Tasha is one that doesn't want that to happen. She wants to take the fall. She doesn't want her son to take the, to take the fall. She will, she'll rather take it herself. Ghost would have rather... Well, he, he did for a little while. But at the end, Ghost was like, you gonna have to you gonna have to take a rap, son. <laughs> I'm not letting nobody stop me. But, uh... Yeah, it's... It's not looking good for Tariq. It's not looking good for Tariq. But <coughs> we get into class. We get into class stuff. I ain't got no corona or nothing. I think some spit went down the, down the wrong pipe or something. <laughs> but uh, so we get into class. In uh, uh, something about the series and stuff, the the discussions that they have in classroom and when they talk about morality and about these famous writers and everything. It plays a part in the, the subject of the, the storylines and what's going on with the characters and whatever. And in this debate that they're going through, it's about this philosopher or whatever. In are people are people uh let me mute this shit. Uh are people fundamentally good or bad? I can't stand up trying to do a, do a video or something. It's, it's, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's about messaging me and stuff, man. All right. Are, are you fundamentally good or bad? And in these characters of power, it is something that comes up all the time. Like, are you good? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they products of their environment? What is it? So, Sax, Sax and Method Man, they get together. They are putting together this jewelry. Two, they need to get the perfect jewelry for them to get the right thing uh, for Tasha to get off. And then every all the other pieces of the dominoes start to fall, fall into place. And there, the jury is the craziest jury they have ever put together in U.S. court history. And it's, it just, it would never happen. It would never happen in real life. But let's just move on to the, to the next, the next thing. Oh, two bit is reintroducing the series. So they need his testimony and stuff to character witness and make people look a certain ways. And two bit will he play ball with them? 
will he punch his get out of jail free card? So we're going to see about, about two bit. If we found out like in the series, like two bit isn't as dumb as we thought he was. Like two bit is actually a pretty intelligent dude. But like whenever they first introduced him and stuff, like when he, whenever he was with, uh, what was homeboy name? Uh, Dre, I, I think his name was Dre, but he was a, he was a dummy. But then he just got intelligent all of a sudden. I, I guess so. Kane, Kane thinks Tariq is fucking his sister or something. Really is Drew. Drew is the one that has demons and has some skeletons in the closet. But he's the only one that doesn't know that Drew is gay and whatever. So and Drew isn't going to uh, fess up. So he's letting his sister... He's letting Diane take the blame. And he's like, uh, yeah, whatever. So, Kane marches to the school and stuff. Like, he mad. He thinking that, that Tariq is messing with his sister and stuff. And that's not the case. That's not the case. You know, Tar Tariq, he, he messing with, he chilling with homegirl and stuff. They talking, you know. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, so what do you think? Do you think... I'm good or bad, or you good or bad, and this and that. He running this little game, and he, uh, yeah, what's that, what's that? Tariq is the only, the only one. Tariq is the only one on power that is cock-blocked all the time. All the time. Everybody else gets to do their thing. Everybody else has had multiple sex scenes and this and that. And... It's not that he, I don't know because he's he's a minor or something. Man, they had the basketball player, uh, the homeboy bone the teacher in in the last episode and stuff, man. And like homeboy Drew is going to have gay sex at the college and this and that, man. Everybody is doing their thing. Hey, all the teachers is getting their grind on. Tariq is the star of the show. And Tariq can't get no action. So her boyfriend barges in on him and Tariq is like, yo, yo, dude, and this and that. He plays it cool. He plays it cool, but it's just like, damn, Tariq can't can't get a break. Everybody else on the series just not Tariq. Uh, Sax little knees, man. I, I can't stand her. I can't stand her. Uh, Sax is like, stay away from them. Stay away from them. No, but I'm in love with Brayden. He's not like that. I promise he's not like that, dude. Get your little ass, get your little ass off the show. Please get her killed. Like, it's a TV show, so I don't have to feel morally, fundamentally good or bad about this decision. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Somebody kill her. Somebody kill her. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. But it won't because she, she makes things too spicy. She's the little, the little narc that's on, on the scene with them or whatever. Uh... Braden and his brother, they didn't fucked up. They didn't stole Kane dope or something. Braden finds this out. He like, look, I need, I need my dope. His brother, ah man, I went bring that to the boys, man. We got messed up, yeah, dude. I came through. Is I, I need this dope. Ah man, no. And Braden got on their hands, but he came mess with his brother. Like his brother is dorky, nerdy, and everything, but he hems Braden up. Kane runs, runs up on him. Nah. Somebody gonna have to pay for this. So he kidnaps. He kidnaps him off the scene and stuff, man. Uh they Drew and Diane is sent to the basement and stuff. He, she, uh Mary J is like, y'all better not touch these phones. Y'all better not go nowhere. Drew keeps getting text messages from his his basketball boo or whatever. And he is hot in the draws. He hot in the draws. He he just, I gotta go. I'm leaving. And so he runs to the college and go have butt sex with, with homeboy. He got to go. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to say it like that. Because I know, oh, man, I, I was messing with your channel, man. But you, you're you anti-gay and stuff. No, I'm I'm not. I'm not. It's just they. Snoop Dogg. Watch what Snoop Dogg is going to say on uh on his Instagram or something. And see if, if I'm any worse than. I'm not worse than Snoop. So I'm, I'm not tripping. It's just like. Why? Why? But anyway, so he hot in the draw, so he go run and chase after after homeboy. Kane has the white boys. He like, y'all gonna have to have to get me back for my product and this and that. He puts them on the block. 
put some on the block to sell his product. Brain heavily game with him. Brain heavily game with him. He has a little game, a little common sense. He's kind of built for this. He's kind of built for this. He's learned from Tariq and stuff. He's a people person. His brother, on the other hand, he's a little bitch ass nigga. So it is not the same. It is not the same, my brother. Uh, so I said this. Snoop is, is gonna go on his rent. Snoop is gonna go on his rent because they have the the gay scenes and stuff. Hey nephew, hey nephew, why why are they doing that? Fifty, fifty. That's a, that's a terrible Snoop Dogg uh, impression. Let let me try. Hey hey yo nephew, hey yo nephew, man, why they keep doing this? <laughs> for for shizzle for shizzle my nizzle either. Uh. Diane goes and she confronts Tariq. They find out about the app and this and that. Uh, and, but she sees that something is awry because Brayden's girlfriend is ran up on there and she's in the room with Tariq. So Tariq don't want Diane to know he's in the room with homegirl. Nothing is going on. They sitting there playing chess. Like so, homegirl, she's she's dingy, but she's not that dumb because she she has some chess moves. Like chess is like a metaphor for life or something. You can be ahead of your opponent or whatever. So she is right there with Tariq. So she ain't no dummy, that old white girl. But Diane is see she like so so you got somebody in the room. You got Lauren in the room with you. This and that. So he like nah. And don't tell don't tell your mama about this. Don't tell Monet about this. She ain't gonna understand. She is so vindictive and so mad at Tariq that she goes back right back to the mother and tells her. And the mother is like, I know what's going on or something. Like, you fuck this nigga or whatever. You like, you you trying to, like, leave this dude alone. Like, this is business. This is business. Like, I'm not shutting nothing down. She was trying to get Tariq shut down. Just being a woman, being spiteful or whatever. Sorry if I said being a woman or whatever. I don't... People, people get so mad, like, from a lot of things I see on the channel, like anytime I say anything that's that's not PC, I get killed. I'm an '80s baby man. I'm from country Louisiana. I've not been raised the right way. It's not PC culture around here. Uh, Braden got his little taste of the block. <laughs> Braden got his little taste of the block. He tells Tariq, "Yo, man, I was I, I was rich, dog, but I had to give Kane off my money." But man, I was built for this dog. It was it was just intoxicating. So he loved the block. He loved the block. And like, will it backfire on him? Oh, and the cop, the cop, the one, the one that messes with with uh Mary J. Blige, he kind of saved them, but he kind of tested them a little bit. He like Brayden, yo, I'ma just I'ma let y'all go, but just forget about this night. But Braden's brother is like, we need to press charges. That's going to come back to bite him. It, they're going to, uh, something going to happen. But we see uh, two bit, two bit in court. He's playing him. He's playing him. But uh, he's following Homeboy's lead. He's following uh, Method Man's lead. I forgot his name already. Davis. He's following Davis' lead, doing what Davis wanted him to do. He's not listening to sex. He gets himself out of jail. Like in the end of the episode, we see Two Bit is it got himself out. But he done threw Tariq under the bus. They still going with their plan. Tariq is getting thrown under the bus. It's not looking good for him. I said, if you've been watching these videos, like I know it's been a while back, but I was be, I've been saying this. Kane and Monet is gonna butt heads because she keeps you talking to him and using him like he is just the muscle, like he's a dummy or whatever. And he wants more. And like they are butting heads in this episode, and he like, yo, you ain't a boss in this and that. And he ends up striking her. You don't strike no black lady, not your mama and stuff. He ends up going to the jail. He goes talk to the father about what's going on. And he kind of wants to be in power. And, and his, the daddy is like, listen to your mama, listen to your mama, whatever. He gets the guards in them to bust his ass. He like, don't you ever touch my wife again. He didn't say that. But uh, that's what happened. He get he get the, the guards to buzz his ass, man. Uh, and the last thing I left out on was uh, too big got his ass out of jail. But I already said that. But like, it's interesting to see what's gonna be happening, man. Like, mm, I don't know. It's a lot of betrayal and stuff. Like, 
It was looking like Tariq was going to go down, but Tariq found out that he was drugged. So I think that's going to be in his favor. But it's going to be a lot of backstabbing and stuff, man. 2-Bit two two might go help Tariq. He might go talk to him and tell him, look, they trying to bring you down or whatever. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. We don't see ghosts in them anymore and this and that. We miss Amari Hardwick or whatever. But they still have found a ways to make the show interesting. Now, I know I've been long-winded as hell and stuttered and fluttered. I'm rusty. I ain't even. But uh, let me upload this and go to sleep, man. <laughs> but uh, highly your boy, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't be the greatest and the most hated. Shit. Peace out. Much love.